Imagine sitting around a campfire with your family. You smell that distinctive odor of burning wood. You feel the heat radiating on you. The family is making s'mores. All of you put a giant marshmallow on the end of the stick and place it just above the fire. Just as the marshmallows get crispy, your strange Uncle Tom throws a bucket of water on the fire. That's what happens when water meets steam in the steam piping. The water takes the heat away from the steam. The worst part is that it starts a cascading effect where the more water in the steam, the more the steam condenses. Welcome, friends, to the Boiler Room Detective Channel. I'm your host, Ray Wolfarth. Today, we're discussing why dry steam will provide a safer and more efficient steam system. When steam was more commonly used for space heating, the boilers were designed to provide 98% dry steam, or 2% water. Now, the typical steam boiler delivers about 94 to 96% dry steam, and that's when the boiler is piped properly. 94 to 96% sounds efficient, but let's run the numbers. For example, a boiler rated for a million BTUs will typically have a combustion efficiency of 80% with 20% of the input going up the chimney. This means 800,000 BTUs are available in the boiler. At 94 to 96% steam efficiency, we will have between 752 and 768,000 BTUs to the system for a fuel to steam efficiency of 75 to 76.8%. The 4 to 6% Wet steam is considered carryover. A rule of thumb is that the system efficiency drops by 1% for every percentage of wetness in the steam. Dry steam has a higher energy content per unit than wet steam. This means it can transfer more heat energy to the process it uses. The absence of water droplets ensure this heat is released uniformly and effectively, maximizing efficiency. Dry steam's higher heat transfer efficiency means less steam is required to achieve the desired heating effect. This translates to lower fuel consumption and reduced operating costs. Wet steam can also cause damage inside the piping. Steam travels at speeds up to and sometimes above 50 miles per hour. When the water droplets traveling at 50 miles per hour hit a bend or 90 in the piping, it can erode the piping and cause a leak. It can also ruin control valves, check valves, pressure reducing valves. This increases the maintenance costs and downtime for the steam system. Dry steam is safer than wet steam. Wet steam can cause water hammer or water droplets cause pressure surges, which can damage equipment and pose serious safety risks. It causes condensate induced water hammer which can generate pressures of 1,500 pounds per square inch or greater. Dry steam eliminates this risk, contributing to a safer working environment. How do you test the steam efficiency or for carryover? You just can't look at the steam and know how much water is in it. There are three methods of testing for carryover, conductivity, alkalinity, and chlorides. Testing the conductivity of the condensate return and comparing it to the boiler conductivity is one of the most common and easiest ways to test. The higher the conductivity in the condensate, the wetter the steam is. Unfortunately, testing the conductivity is not as accurate as testing and comparing the alkalinity or the chlorides. How can we ensure drier steam to the system? The first thing to do is to ensure the boiler is piped correctly. Steam boiler manufacturers rely on the near boiler piping to dry the steam. Most try to maintain a steam velocity below 40 feet per second to ensure dry steam. In the early days of steam heating, the near boiler piping was designed using 16 feet per second. The slower the velocity, the drier the steam. I like using a drop header to dry the steam even more. 
Another way to ensure dry steam is to insulate the steam pipes. An uninsulated pipe loses five times more energy than an insulated one. This results in the cascading effect of steam condensing faster than designed. This lowers the efficiency and could overload the steam traps, causing the system to stall and have no heat. So there you have it. Dry steam's importance in steam systems can't be overstated. It enhances heat transfer efficiency, extends equipment life, ensures consistent operation, reduces energy consumption, and improves safety. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insights into hydronic and steam systems. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. Fireiceheat.com is my company's website. My books are available on Amazon. My technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.